really it all started when I was very, very young and watched the U.S. land on the moon for the first time. And so I was always interested in being part of it and then ultimately being an astronaut to me means being an explorer, um, to explore the universe. So I thought, you know, being a physicist, wanting to understand the universe and then being an explorer to go out and, and see it firsthand was, was what I really wanted to do. Well, I went to Rice University in Houston for college. Um, I chose Rice University because I wanted to go to a school that was good in science and engineering. I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to study, but I knew it was in that general area somewhere. Um, and I wanted to go to a smaller school. I wasn't really enamored by the uh, larger schools that we have in Texas. I was extremely fortunate that I was hired on to work at the Johnson Space Center um, right out of undergraduate school. So I was hired by a contractor at that time that was the Rockwell Space Operations Corporation that had the contract to do the work in the Mission Control Center. So I was hired as a flight controller. So I did that for a number of years, and at that point, um, uh, after about three years, I decided I wanted to further my education. I only had my undergraduate degree at that point, so that's when I went back to Rice and got uh, my master's and PhD in space physics to sort of get a little bit off this planet and understand uh, some of the solar system. I did a number of other things, too, along the way before I became an astronaut. At one point, I was asked to do avionics integration with our Russian partners, which was really interesting. The experience as an astronaut has been absolutely fantastic. I've been able to do so many things that are just so exciting. Of course, um, I spent six months on this, nearly six months on the space station, um, living and working there, which was a fantastic experience. Um, leading up to that, at when, by the time I flew, we were winding down our shuttle program, and so I actually flew on uh, the Soyuz rocket with the Russians. What was very exciting to me about that is that I was actually trained as the co-pilot on, on the Soyuz, so I was fully trained just like the commander to do everything that needed to be done for launch, rendezvous, docking, undocking. We actually um, uh, relocated our Soyuz, so we briefly undocked from the station and went on to another docking port and redocked, and so I was trained in all of that, uh, which, was, which was really neat because I'm just a little physicist, <laughs> a NASA astronaut, and being able to um, learn how to and being expected to know how to fly um, an international partner vehicle is, is quite something, I think. And having to do it all in Russian, which, is, which kind of steps, steps it up a notch.